All right, so I'm here with David Eckert. Um, he's got a little bit of issues going on right now. We just saw Dr. Rich, we got an adjustment. Um, actually, you could probably explain it better yourself, so go ahead and tell everybody what's been going on. So basically, um, hit a new squat PR around December, so like six, almost seven months ago at this point. Hit 495, next day I was feeling kind of, my whole back and then sciatic nerve and all that was just not feeling great. So. I took a couple weeks off, it started to feel better, and then I went back at it, and then I re-injured it, and so it's been just really messed up for like six months. Um, my L4 my L5 are herniated, I have sciatica, so shooting pain down my uh, right leg, and it's basically just not feeling great. I did chiropractor for a few months, that didn't seem to help much. I did, I'm doing PT right now uh, over at another location that seems to kind of work, but it's still really messed up and it's working on it. Yeah, so what we're doing now is we're seeing Dr. Rich because he's going to do something a little bit more than the average chiro does. He does some uh, sports performance, sports chiropractic pair. So but what I'm doing with him now, he's done some foam rolling, but we're really specifically trying to match him to that side of the glute. And again, like I said, if there's ever sharp shooting pain on the spot that you're rolling, try and roll around there. He's been doing a lot with the foam rolling, but we're going to get a little bit more point specific using the supernova ball from Rope Fitness. I'm um, trying to match him around there, roll around on the glute, and in just a second, Mr. Mark Pro here, we're going to really use this e-stem to help loosen that up. A lot of times you'll see TENS units, he picks something up at Walgreens for about 60 bucks. They can work as far as just kind of minimizing some pain and discomfort. This Mark Pro is going to actually help increase the performance and help increase the recovery. It's not guaranteed to make you stronger and faster, but it's going to help the recovery process. And the patent-pending technology here with the wave frequency patterns, it's not going to overstimulate the muscle where it just doesn't heal. Um, sometimes there's some e-stems that can just contract too hard and doesn't allow the healing process to happen. So we're going to get this connected and see if we can invigorate and loosen up that muscle a little bit and flush any kind of uh, junk that's in those lift nodes. So, yeah, I'll just kind of keep rolling through there. How's that feeling so far? Okay. Okay, okay. Now, how's it feel if you can try and kind of kick that up and down? Pinches? Okay. Yeah. So you can do some internal, external rotation a little bit. How's that? That feels fine. Okay, it's just to kick up and down. This is better than this. Like the second I, the second you do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now let's see if we can kind of roll around to the side of it a little bit there. So you literally cross this ankle over the top of the knee. How's that? A little pinch or? Uh, it's about the same as the foam roller. A little, little okay. harder. A little harder. A little better. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a little bit more pinpointing on there using that ball. I mean, obviously you can dig onto the edge of the foam roller a little bit. Um, so yes, that is an overpriced cross ball. It's about 40 bucks. Again, these foam rollers can range anywhere it's from 18, 15, 24 dollars or so. But if you don't have the ball, what you can do is you can get the edge of this roller right sit that glute on there, cross it over. You can kind of mash in there. And this works not too bad either, if this is all you got. I definitely recommend using that ball. You can get in a little bit more, but what we're looking to do is we're trying to kick this leg up and down. Um, get onto the back side of there. That ball can pinpoint it a little bit more, so you can use the edge of the roller. But again, the glute media is three parts of the butt. It's the most chronically tight muscle in the entire human body. It's responsible for your hip internal external rotation. So giving this a roll can also help loosen up any kind of lower back pain or any kind of tightness. Again, sometimes in just as little as one session can help cure it a lot. Not making any promises, but over time this can help. I mean, everybody has heard of strength training and cardiovascular training, right? But stability training, mobility, that should be your first phase of training. And anytime we start any kind of fitness program, you want to have that as our foundation. You want to build your house on bricks, you don't want to build it on glass or uh, you know straw, whatever you want to call it. So you don't want it to fall apart, you know. Um, so doing this, having this therapeutic process is going to help a ton. Before your workout, spend some time and foam roll the body, you know. Get on this roller, roll off the back nice and easy. You're going to read a lot of stuff on the internet that says don't roll specifically on the lower back. Yeah, there's a lot of soft tissues and organs, but if you've been doing this for years, you can lightly get onto that spot. If this is too much, drop the shoulders to the floor, right? Cross an angle over the knee, lean into that side, open up that hip, stretch, open up those hip flexors, piriformis, push that knee out and down, lean onto that side. This is a very therapeutic way. Deep breath of air, inhale, and then slowly come off of that roller. That's gonna help a lot. You know, rolling out your back, 
rolling out the lats on the roll. You might see some other videos I have online that can really help loosen that up. So, and in just a second, we're gonna hook the Mark Pro up and, and then really see if we can help loosen up his glute and hip and uh, get that going. All right, so let's hop off of there now. Let's get this Mark Pro going. So you might have seen this stuff on the internet so far with the Mark Pro. There are some similar devices. I know Compax has got a device up. You know, I did my research and I really felt this unit here was a really, really good way to go. Um, and, you know, they do have the wireless technology, but I just don't think it's really ready yet um, as far as the connectivity. I think they can still improve it on a little bit better. So, excuse me, I got these all tangled up. We're going to get these untangled real quick and we're going to get this connected. So, and a lot of times I like to talk with our client or patient. Fortunately, David works with us. He's going to be getting some awesome treatment. Um, how old are you, Dave? 17. 17? When do you turn 18? Uh, next month. Next month. All right. So about to turn 18. This guy's a beast. How long have you been working out? Uh, well, I've been working out like a year and a half. I've been bodybuilding probably eight months, nine months. Eight months. Been working out a year and a half. What, uh, how much did you weigh before you started working out? Uh, before I started working out at the end of football, I was 305 pounds. 305 pounds. Were you um, out of shape at all or kind of uh, just had some muscle, a little bit of fat? I was, I wouldn't say I was obese. I was, I was a really big guy. Yeah, um, yeah. I was still really athletic and had a lot of explosiveness, but a lot of it was fat from the yeah. football. Uh -huh. um, and I just didn't want to be 305 pounds anymore. Yeah. So what did you do differently? Uh, well, I started intermittent fasting. Uh huh. As Are you I still worked. doing that? I'm not doing that anymore. Okay. Uh, I did intermittent fasting, so I would fast 23 hours a day and uh, eat like 2,000 calorie lunch. Probably wasn't the best option. Sure. But that's what I did. And yeah. And I did that while working at a warehouse uh -huh. in the summer where I was just constantly sweating, drinking a lot of water. Uh huh. And then in that summer, between my sophomore and junior year, I lost about 45, 50 pounds. And then I started coming to the gym every day. And then I decided I still kind of had some fat. So then I started to, you know, get really serious about it. About seven, eight months ago, I started tracking my macros, really like restricting what I eat, really like this is how much water I need to eat, this is the supplements intake, vitamins intake. And yeah. now it's just what the year. So, okay, gotcha. Well, hopefully we're going to really help uh, cure this. This isn't an overnight treatment, but this can do a lot. So we're going to get this hooked up now. And uh, here, let's step right over here, okay? So now where do you feel it pinpointed? You can pinpoint the area at all. Well, it, shoots, it goes all the way down my leg. I feel okay. like probably somewhere in this area right where the middle to my... So you, you feel it's kind of starting there? Maybe a little bit higher. Like a little bit higher? This whole kind of area. Yeah, maybe this. right here, right here. To where I'm touching? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one electrode right there. Okay. And anywhere else, is it going across at all? You um, feel anything here? No, it's mainly mainly kind of goes in like seems like a straight line. And okay, do you, okay, so probably in through here a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so we'll hold that shirt right there. So yeah, sometimes we got to get a little invasive here, but I'm gonna just drop this down. Okay, I'm gonna get right on top of that glute there. So I got one on top of the glute. I got one going into the lower back. And then since he did mention that shooting down the hamstring, now obviously this thing comes with a manual. You can uh, they have a lot of different uh, trigger point areas that are recommended to help loosen it up. But I want to kind of follow the flow of his pain where it's going. And so basically we're looking for a nice flow of current um, going all the way down through the leg. So you said it kind of shoots down through where it's, now? It's mainly like this, like in between my two fingers. Okay, so you would say there? Probably, yeah. Okay, so that's where we're gonna go. So let's lift this up a little bit. Let's try and get one here. And you said probably right in there? Yeah, maybe like right there. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and get onto that larger part of the muscle. A lot of times I wanna feel it out. Would you say here or would you say more say over? Right okay. here. So, and a lot of times I like to talk to him at first. We can always adjust these as need be, so we're gonna drop that down, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this on the high intensity setting. You can use a low intensity. It gives a little bit of a, a nice little bit of a, a kind of a pulse, right? The high intensity setting is really used for the, the pain management, and it just gets a nice good bit of flowing current in there through there just to help invigorate and really loosen up that muscle. So we're gonna crank this up a little bit slowly, okay? You're gonna feel something. How's this going so far? It's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so this white one is going to kind of go on up through the top. The black's going to be down there. Okay, so I'm going to crank this up a little bit more. How's that so far? It's good. We'll go up a little bit more. Let me know. Is there any? Okay, that's good. Maybe go to 5.5. Maybe even higher than that. Okay. 
Do you feel any sharp stabbing? No. Okay. Sometimes that does happen. You might get like a little sharp stabbing sensation. We just need to move the pads. Or sometimes you can put a little bit of aloe on there. So we're gonna crank this up a little bit more. We're at six five. How's that? Still good. Still good. So we're at max. How's that? Okay, so this thing max is at the nine. Now basically the intensity setting on here, we if you had another device. You could shock it even higher until he's like, oh, I can't take it anymore. But the patented technology on this is that it's not going to overstimulate the muscle. We want just enough current so that way it can heal and still improve performance, okay? So now we're going to go to the other side. Alright, you're feeling that a good bit? Now, is there any kind of sharp stab here? It feels good, nice current. Is everything connecting at all? Okay, good, good. Now here, I want you to let me know when, okay? About right there? Yeah. Okay, good. So let's hold that for a second. Now, let's come over here and sit on the table, okay? And then let's try that test. So again, we just went to Dr. Rich. We did the adjustment. Um, we'll shoot a video there in a little while, but I'm gonna throw this one on YouTube. So let's start off, let's use this leg and let's kick it out like you're doing before. So, no, there's nothing on this side of the body, right? A little shakiness there. Now let's slowly try that side. All right, so you can feel it. So it's, it's shaking a good bit. Okay, and drop it back down. Now when you bring that up, is there a sharp shooting pain? It's not sharp, it's like I can start doing it here, uh -huh. and then right here is really bad, and then I can right here where it's still worse. Okay. Now where where is that pain going right now? Is this kind of like right here? Okay, and is it going through where the current is right now? It's, it's hard to pinpoint. Yeah. But it's me, it's like it just feels like the whole I, I don't know how to explain yeah, it. Yeah, like sure, sure, sure. Right, right. Okay. But you're generally filming this into the side or through the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Maybe a little like. All right. Side. So what we're gonna do next? Once you lie down flat on your back on the table. Okay. Nice and easy. I'll get these kind of moving. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little assisted stretching, a little massage. So um, you can use this here. We're gonna hold on to that as you want. You can crank this up a little bit. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep this right here. What we're doing is we're going to do a little assisted stretching. So a lot of times with the stem, now I'm going to slowly bring this leg up, okay? Just let me know if it becomes too much or a lot of pressure. It's How's just, this up and down movement? Is this okay? It feel fine because I have no flexion in my back. Okay, good, good, good. It's, it's still fine. It's, just it's still fine here. Okay. One to ten, to being tight. Where are we at here? Fine. Fine? Okay. I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. What I'm doing a lot of times when I really want to stretch a hamstring, I'm going to apply pressure here over the top of the quad, not on the knee, so I can straighten this leg a little bit more. Sometimes I even drop my shoulder and then put pressure here on top. Through there, okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put pressure through his heel. He's a little bit of a bigger guy, so I'm going to have to work a little bit more with him, but we'll see. 1 to 10, 10 being tight, where are we at? It's so fun. It's just, it gets a little numb, so I think the nerves kind of walk Okay. Off. So it starts to fall asleep. Yeah. Hurt. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly kind of push. Is there anything in here at all? Yeah? Okay, a little tight there. Yeah. <laughs> you ever feel that pain kind of going down to the bottom? No? Okay. So now I'm going to kind of push. If you want to come around on the other side, we'll take a look. I'm going to try and get on top of that spot there. So how's this when I'm pushing here? Feels fine there? About in there? All right, so I find a little tight spot here. You can feel that. All right, so so there's a tight muscle there, and basically what I'm doing again, I'm not a licensed massage therapist, but I've had spent thousands of dollars on therapy and work with a lot of therapists. So basically, when you're looking at the muscle, we want to make sure that we're kind of moving over the adhesion and up and down. So I found a little spot in there. It's very subtle, but I can feel it's almost like a guitar string, and I'm just trying to manipulate that and just kind of. Apply just a light little bit of pressure on there. Again, he can use that ball all day, but a lot of times we want to actually manually push into that spot and see if we can just help open it up. One to ten is how are you doing? You okay? Seven. Okay. So I'm just gonna move that around a little bit. And sometimes if it's too much pain and pressure, like I said, this is the pin point right there. I'm just gonna kind of move around that area, try and roll out some of that massage some of that surrounding tissue. But we're gonna start a lot of therapy on him, um, doing the east stem, rolling the glutes, seeing Dr. Rich, because if we can cure this guy, <laughs> we can fix anybody. So again, this isn't gonna be an overnight remedy, but it's definitely gonna help. I'm just gonna kind of 
kind of massaging through there. That that's pretty much on it, huh? Yeah. And again, sometimes there's these muscles. I mean, this stuff doesn't happen overnight. You know, I tell a lot of people when you you, you feel something, it's not because you did it that day. A lot of times the movement you did could have over irritated it, but a lot of times it's been building up for months. And with him, you know, he was. Heck, I mean, being 17, 16, training, pushing hard, you know, he's able to develop a lot at such a young age. I mean, he's got really good genetics. Um, obviously, a lot of testosterone in his body. You know, being young, that's a perfect time to train. But also, it's a great time to get this stuff now. So, I mean, it's a blessing and a curse. You know, it sucks that this happened, but it's opening up his eyes to doing more mobility, getting this type of therapy. Because a lot of times, most people this age are not seeing a sports car, or they're not working with a trainer. Fortunately, he's working here with us at Georgia Fitness, so we're gonna hook him up. <laughs> but um, this is the kind of stuff you need to do, guys. You need to get some treatment. If you look in the latest issue, Consumer Reports, um, they talk so much about how the, uh, I think it's the American Physicians Council, or the American Council of Physicians, whatever, they, uh, they talked about how the best treatment now is getting some sort of sports uh, massage, uh, chiropractic care, um, deep tissue work, working with a trainer, being able to you know correct any kind of movement imbalances and really loosen up those tight muscles. So we massage you a little bit. We're gonna try and stretch some now. One to ten, ten being tight. That's when you feel more okay. So we're just gonna stretch this hamstring. One to ten, ten being tight. Okay. 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 One to ten. Seven. We go to about an eight. Right there. Okay, let's hold it there. Good. All right. We're gonna bring this leg over. Nice and easy. Just another way to get the hamstring, but uh, where we at here is a pinching. Okay. Sharp pain or? Sharp? Okay. So we're going to back off a little bit. What about now? Fine now? Okay. Where was it getting into? Right in here? Uh, it's kind of like back. In back in there. The pain was shooting into here? Okay. Hamstrings get chronically tight, guys, so they're gonna take a lot of work. A lot of times the foam roller doesn't hit it as good, so again, I love this thing from Rogue Fitness, the Supernova that works great. Or you can get a lacrosse ball or a hard ball, but using this can really help. I mean, heck, I might even press this into here a little bit. How's that? Okay. Little pinch. You might want to. When I push in here, is that where the pinch is? No, it's no. not my leg. It's just, it's just like extended, okay. So we're gonna bend it now. Any pinch? No? So what I'm gonna do from here, and this is a big stretch I do with a lot of people, is I'm gonna push down the knee, I'm gonna push his shoulder down, right? Okay, nice and easy, yep, you're gonna keep that there. Actually, you can drop that hand forward. There you go, so I'm gonna push from top of here. I'm gonna slowly go, how's this? That's hard. Feel going into the lower back? Or is it all hip and glute? Hip? Okay. So when this is just hip and glute and he can't feel anything into the lower back, then just let me know this is pretty tight. So a lot of times I'm gonna wanna kinda mash in here, roll out this whole glute, and then I wanna try and at least have it to when we're doing this stretch, we're gonna feel that going into the lower back, okay? So I'm gonna just push down a little bit more. Let me know when this gets about an eight out of 10. Okay. Pinching it all? Okay, good. So we don't want pinch, all right? Feels like a hip abductor stretch. Yeah, we want just a good, nice stretch. So now what I want you to do, this is a PNF, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. We're gonna apply pressure and resistance. So he's gonna push against my hand and relax a few times. We're gonna see if we can get this muscle to stretch even further. So go ahead and push your knee into my hand, push out, relax. Does that pinch at all when you do that? Okay, good. Now apply pressure, push into my hand, push, 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 relax. Let's do it again, push, relax, two more, push, relax, one more time, push, relax, take a deep breath of air, inhale, 
and exhale, boom. So I stretch it even just a little bit further. Sometimes it doesn't do it as much, but most of the time it's gonna loosen up a little bit more because we're pushing pressure against, we're applying a little bit more pressure in that movement. And so that muscle's working harder and then it's just able to relax a little bit further than before. One to 10 tipping tight. Not a nine, all right, so we're gonna leave it there. Is this getting into the low back at all? No, not at all? Okay. So we're gonna come back. Just drop this leg right there just for a second. So, we got the stick. Anytime we're doing that stretch, it's a very common stretch I like to do. That's gonna assess how tight the glutes may be. We want to feel that stretch in the lower back. When all he feels is hips and glutes, obviously it's pretty tight. So we're going to want to loosen that up. Some therapists use elbows. Sometimes you can push your hand in there. A lot of times I like to use one of these. This is an out of day. I got this at Fleet Feet Sports. There's a handful of things online. Um, you know, a lot of times I can use something like this. I can kind of pinpoint and get over that spot. Or using this here. And basically we're just going to try and we're just kneading the dough. We're just trying to massage and roll this stuff out. So we're going to bring this leg back over a little bit. All right, any pinches, you good? Okay, so we got East Stem going and we're going to top that with some of this pressure here. So I'm just going to kind of roll over some of these spots. I'm not going to go crazy hard. Again, I'm just going to start off light and then we're going to dig into there a little bit more. How's this so far, you okay? So we got the shock. Now, before I even get into that a little bit more, I'm gonna go up, okay? Let me know when it's too much. We're just about right. Stop there, okay, so. Good, okay. So we went up, it was at five, five, seven. One's a nine, all right? Obviously with the one here to the lower back, generally can take a little bit more current. The one in the hamstring, you know, we wanna work through it. But doing each stem is just like working a muscle, right? So as you do it a little bit more, you can handle more current. But again, the way this is designed is we're not trying to numb it. We just want to get enough in there so that that pattern, that, that regular wave pattern in there that's shooting the current and through the leg and invigorating that muscle, we want it just to be able to help it perform and recover a little bit more. So we're applying pressure under the glue. We're just mashing and rolling in here. It's got a lot of muscle built up. And again, this stuff just can kind of get tight. If you're not doing this treatment all the time, your glutes will get tight eventually. It could be your lower back. It could be something that's in your foot going all the way up to the neck. So like I say, we do the muscles. Dr. Rich does the bones. You know, the, uh, the Frank and Rich <laughs> combo to really help loosen you guys up. So, But again, all of our trainers here, we're all corrective exercise specialists. We focus a lot on program design, mobility, getting into a lot of stuff. So most of your first sessions here, it's not about getting your butt kicked through a hard workout. Anybody can do it. You can read something online and destroy yourself through a workout. It's not about that. We want to make sure you're moving through the correct ranges of motion, you have good mobility, and we can hopefully eliminate or minimize any kind of pain or discomfort. Now, if me or Dr. Rich can't fix this, yes, I do know therapists and other doctors that might be able to help, but we like to try to be the in-between from your chiropractic to your massage therapist to your doctor. We want to try and do a lot of that. That's what we do here especially. How's this pressure? You still good? Right here? Okay. Sharp shooting pain or no? Okay, good. Foot's falling asleep. All right, get my back off of that. We might be cutting up a little circulation in there. All right, now, since I did a little massage, I'm going to push on this knee. Wow, that just opened up a ton. It's hit. Now, you feel your low back? A little bit, all right, a little bit's a good sign. Not a lot, but this, this leg is dropping so much more, okay? Where do you feel in the low back? Okay, good, but you didn't feel it before, right? Okay, so we just got it a little bit, so your foot's still numb? Yeah, all right, let's move it back. Let's take a little breather for a second, okay? Yep, hang out right there. So again, this is one session. He already started to feel low back. I've had people that two to three sessions, it's just still tight. And again, you can't do all this in a day, you can't do it in a month. That's why we always recommend doing a three month program. You know, we do our three phases of training, our balance, mobility, stabilization, muscular endurance. <laughs> I listed off a lot, but that's our first phase in a month. Then we go into our strength training, right? Then we go into power, month three, which power is a little bit more functional. So month one, month two, month three, we go through those, and that way we can fully take someone from the ground up and hopefully equip them with enough information that they can start doing a lot of this on their own, or they come back and see us again and go months four, five, and six and start stabilization again. Sometimes in the stabilization movement, 
we could just be doing balance, single leg RDL, reaching out and holding, right? We're taking it to the next level, then we might do it on a BOSU, for example, and we're doing a single leg RDL or RDL to rear delt raise, to lunge, to lateral raise, we're adding a lot more stuff in there. And again, as you loosen up a little bit more, you get more balance, we can add a lot more exercise to it. So, how's this foot still doing? Good now? Okay, good, good, good. So, we're gonna drop this here. And then, I'm just gonna start mashing just a little bit. How's this pressure, okay? Good. Sharp pain or? No, it's really tight. Really tight, yeah. Hamstrings get tight, guys, so even using that ball, rolling it, a lot of times, you know, you know, it's saying in the Bible, it's iron sharpens iron, one man sharpens another. So we all need help, we can all get better. Even if you're jacked as this guy is, right? He's in shape, he looks good. Most people's like, oh, he's already in shape, he doesn't need to work out anymore. Well, that's not the case. Every single person who's an athlete, a LeBron James, a Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, I mean, they've all had coaches, they've all had therapists, they're getting the sort of treatment, we can always improve, we can always get better. So this is a lot of stuff that we can do to just help loosen up. And again, if you guys aren't doing this at least once a week, you need to. Because you're just gonna develop more problems. You know, if you don't do it now, you're gonna do it later. And it's gonna cost you a lot more. So it's a good idea to get at least every other week. Our base coaching program is a couple times a month, you know. Um, I never do stuff once a week or, I'm sorry, once a month with people because it's not effective. But ideally, if you wanna do a lot on your own, we always recommend doing something at least once a week that way we pre-plan your workouts, we'll be able to email them to you, and then you can start implementing a lot of this stuff on your own. But, so again, since he has this issue, if he was gonna sign up and do training, right, we're not gonna just go kill him for workouts. He's got a lot of issues going on. We need to treat this, because if he's maxing out with a PR, what, you said 495 in the squat? You know, if he wants to take it to 535, we're gonna wanna eliminate a lot of this and make him better. We're not gonna do that anytime soon, so we're gonna regress the training a little bit. You know, have you been squatting at all now? I haven't squatted in six months. Haven't I've squatted in six months? Goblet squats and safer things that don't move mm -hmm. my posterior chain. Haven't deadlifted at all. Uh huh. Um, stuff like that. Just staying away from all of that. Even heavy bench, I was kind of reluctant to do. Right. Things, but now I'm back into that. Yeah. And again, guys, you got to know your body. I mean, he's he's really good as far as understanding what mechanics and um, what things he can do to implement. But. Uh, you said you could do the RDLs, stiff leg, deadlifts. Uh, I, yeah, my lower back gets a little sore, but I think that's just from it not being used to a lot uh -huh. of weight on me because I haven't been squatting or deadlifting. But I can do stiff leg things. Uh huh. Uh, light, I guess. All right. You regained feeling in his foot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. So we're gonna bring it back over again, nice and easy. We're gonna drop over to the side. Let me know when here. Nice, man. That's even better. Anything in your low back? Feel more? About the same? Yeah, I feel a lot less in my uh, abdomen. Good, abdomen. good. So you feel it in the low back. Yeah. How far up is it going now? Um, it's about right. Nice. So that opened it up a lot, guys. This is a good sign. So at first he only felt it here. Then he felt it there. Now it's going up through here. So this is really good. And a lot of times, you know, you can use this Mark Pro. You can have this thing on for hours. Most of the time when I first started off, they only had it on me for like five to seven minutes in some therapist offices and things like that. So, But this is a little bit of treatment here, so we're gonna peel off some of this stuff now. And we're gonna see what how this is going. Again, this isn't a one and done. You know, A lot of times you need to keep up with this therapy. And so we're gonna take these off. We're gonna see what kind of movement he can get. All right, so I'm just gonna slowly peel this one. Get that guy off of there, boom, off the glute. This one off the low back, bam. And then, let's do that sit towards the edge of the table. All right. All right, let's see now. It's still kind of. Yeah, it's not shaking as much, but. Still feel it? Yeah. And again, this isn't going to be a one-time deal. We're going to have to do this often, but over time, we're going to keep him up to date with uh, David and see how things are going. So this is just a little bit of the uh, stuff that we do here as far as some of our training programs and implementing with Dr. Rich. So um, yeah, man, we'll keep it going and we'll get you fixed. Take some time, but we just got to keep at it. So all right, guys, we'll see you all next time. Cool. Hold on.